Hey everyone, Yan Jia here with another car video. Just too busy to make more videos like this at home. Got to do it on the lunch break. Today, a few back issues. Came out on Wednesday number 9 and number 10. <laughs> bad doing these now since uh, the local comic book stores are out but you can go to alterna.com and i think the shop is alternaaccess.com you can get these wonderful back issues and order future issues hey and if you like videos about comic books i will brave whatever quarantine i will sneak out and get some books somewhere but if you want me to do that you got to click subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment what books you want to see reviewed. All right, so let's take a look at number nine, which is pretty darn awesome. Otis Frampton cover. Very cool. All right. Ugh. Let's, uh, let's get into it here. We have Frank and Gore by the awesome Frankie V. Washington. Uh, my Giant Strange Friend. Uh, it was an interesting one. We'll get to that. Mr. Crypt. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, they Shall Have Tea. A very weird one. And a word I probably will not pronounce correctly. Goetia? Goetia? I don't know. It probably means something in Spanish. And I just don't know. So let's take a look. Oh, man. Frank and Gore. Look at these awesome Frank E. B. Washington arts. Uh, I kind of wish he had his own regular series. I would really like to see what he could come up with. So in classic Washington style, he's got giant lizard, giant kind of ape thing. Uh, the ape is trying to get home to his island, but he ends up on a different island. He meets, of course, a hot woman. Because what monster story would be complete without a hot woman? All right. Fights giant lizard. Godzilla-like thing. And a giant fungus. So if you like classic uh, kaiju monster movie, especially stuff from Asia, this will definitely be a big win for you. Then we go on to uh, My Giant Strange Friend, which is kind of a weird story. Uh, a guy, his dad dies, and the kid's attracted to his home, and um, we don't know why this guy beats his kid like this. But uh, mom dies, so everyone knows that if a kid has his mom die... He's going to get superpowers, or his father is from some alien or strange race that will give him, like, half superpowers. Anyone who's ever seen Guardians of the Galaxy knows what I'm talking about. So at any rate, the kid is grown up, drawn home, and who should he find in the pool? His dad. All right, Mr. Crip. a few of these. Uh, I don't even know what to make of this one. It's kind of an interesting story with a giant eyeball and like killing it and then drinking the ocular jelly. It's very strange. But this, this, Goetia? Goetia? Uh, if anyone could put how to pronounce this in the comments, I would really appreciate it. Like, first of all, okay, so words in art, Alonzo Molina, uh, and then Paulo Rivas. So, first of all, I just want to comment on the colors. Throughout this issue, the colors seem better than they have in a long time. Uh, and I believe this is one of the first generations at Alterna's new printer, which is kind of why I stopped making Alterna videos for a while, because 
they just didn't have any new books out. They were sort of on hiatus. Their old printer screwed them. But man, look at the gorgeous contrast in these colors. This is a fantastic opening shot. All right, and then we see Hot Young Girl. Right. Rock Club. Now, I don't mean to be a dick, but are rock clubs that popular these days? Um, or I mean, I assume that the guy who drove this is from somewhere in Latin America, so maybe they're more popular there. I, it just makes me wonder in terms of, is this now? Or is this maybe like in the 90s? Uh, just a little unclear, no big deal. All right, so she's hanging out. Dude wants to make out with her. Uh, and then we cut to this weird scene with a Gandalf-looking guy talking to Granny. Granny who sends her cat to find the girl. And they're talking about Solomon's blood. Has it been s spilled? So anyone who is not very bible -y, Solomon, there is a Book of Solomon, which is supposed to be uh, filled with... Uh, spells to in, uh, summon demons, mm, imprison demons, force them into demon slavery uh, so that they'll have to do whatever it is that you want. So go for it. Check it out if you're trying to summon demons. All right, so what we see is this guy is like kind of forcing himself on her and bam! I said, stop it. What's wrong with you? And then Alejo, uh, you know, hey, I'm sorry. Something no one knows about me. Or we know which. Keeping it PG. I like it. Dang, look at the art. Look at the quality. Line work. Look at the inks on this. And then the coloring. So as I mentioned in uh, a few other ones, we have a kind of a greenish, and then we have this purple, and it gives you a real sickening feeling. All right, so demons are after her, uh, but the cat finds her and attacks that demon. Go. And then uh, you can see we are legion. So again, a, ref a biblical reference. Jesus once, uh, he uh, excommunicated, not excommunicated, what's the word I'm looking for? Did an exorcism. He drove out the demons. There we go. Drove out the demons from a guy. And uh, how many were there? There were a thousand. Drove them into pigs that then ran into the sea. So this is super awesome art. I love the colors. Normally I would want like more variation, uh, but this works perfectly. The printing is pretty good. You run a little bit like um, sort of a gradient here, but it works in terms of uh, this. And, uh, oh, and then that's it. Like, man, Peter Samedi, you tease. This needs to be a book. I wanna buy a whole book or a series about this. I absolutely want to know what's up with this girl. I want to know what she's doing. Please, Peter. Times are tough. We need cool books. Make it happen. All right. Now, one thing I notice... Where's Log? Log is in every one of these. It comes out on Wednesday. It's the primary reason why I buy this book. But uh, Log is coming out with a one-shot actually came out in January, or is supposed to come out in January. It really, actually, I don't even know if it made it to bookstores before the whole virus thing closing down. I got mine because I buy direct from Alterna. Uh, so, ooh, okay. All right, all right. You know, I gotta say, I love these covers, man. The covers on these, came out on a Wednesday books are always fantastic. Uh, behind the cover, Kristen Rossi. 
I love the color combinations. Ah, excellent. All right. Agent 87. Another short story, Guts. OGs. Okay. Mr. Crypt and uh, The Chase Down by Tyler Wentland. Uh, letters, Wes Locker. So that's the team that brought us Red Koi. And uh, Tyler Wentland has another one coming out. Black Swan or Black Knight. I don't know. It's like a European nighty type thing. I, I, I can't remember. But anyway, a quick preview. Uh, again, the colors, I don't know. I think the printing quality is better now than it was before. Uh, Agent 87. Kind of a cool action story. Seems very kid friendly. All right, Guts is a slightly more disturbing story. Um, you know, mom thinks her kid is gutting animals and he's a psychopath. No, he's just feeding a naked old man that eats animals. That seems worse. All right, then we have uh, a weirder story, OGs by Charlie McFarlane. So very cartoony, kind of a fun little story, uh, but um, this is what I was looking for. This will help me get through afternoon at lunch. All right, log, take it away. What? What? Oh, it's just an ad? Ah, oh, some Medi. Ah. All right. Some Rossi. Mr. Crypt. All right, here we go. The chase down. So another Tyler Wentland. You know, he's got so many books right now. Like, he should just be a staff artist. Uh, so it looks kind of like, if you like uh, the Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci gangster movies, this is kind of for you. They get in a crossfire. So it's an Irish bar. It kind of one makes me wonder if it was... Uh, any of this is based on Danny Green. There was a movie, um, I can't remember if it was a Netflix original or just a really low budget movie called The Irishman. Uh, Danny Green was a union man who ran the Iron Moff Iron Irish Mafia out of Cleveland back in the 70s. Uh, there were all sorts of car bombs and everything going off all the time. Uh, kind of makes me wonder. So at any rate, you got a chase. Very cool. You got drive-bys, guy on a motorcycle. And we end off with this Mexican standoff on a rooftop. I want more, but I don't know. More resolution, man. Come on. I'm sure there was a page limit, and I, I do want to see what happens next, so, you know, I'm kind of kind of going to buy it. All right, so there must be more log stuff. Oh, my God. The back of the... What? Ooh, Elliot Fernandez. Yeah, I'll buy that. Oh, my God. Log! Peter, what have you done? Log! 